And welcome to Ozarks Live. Look at these beauties. From Linda's flowers, very spring. I'm going to do something we don't ever do. I'm going to give you the, the full, you know, the full view of these all the way around. These are beautiful, very spring, kind of green. And, you know, I don't even know what kind of flowers these all are. There are some roses in there. Look like some, I don't know, maybe lilies. And these leaves remind me a little bit of an African violet, that fuzzy kind of look on the leaves. Beautiful bouquet that they sent us from Linda's Flowers. Thanks for that. Now, you know, from time to time, we like to bring, you know, part of our Ozarks Live family in to tell you about big things that are happening in their Come on in here. Big things that are happening in their lives. So sit down. This is one of the people that, if not for this person doing his job, you don't see what we're doing for our job. So, uh, Bryce, yep. inter introduce yourself to people. Well, hi, guys. My name's Bryce. Um, I'm, my job is to make Tom and Joy look good all the time. And with Joy, that's easy, but it is a job to get me to look that, that it way. That is. So, yeah. <sighs> It's you didn't rough. have to agree so quickly. Oh, I'm sorry. You know. Yeah, at least give it a beat or two. On that. <laughs> Some slight hesitation, I should say. Okay, be. now I, I had mentioned a little bit earlier important things going on. First, give folks a little bit of your background. I mean, you know, school, what you're doing mm -hmm. besides here. So, right here, I work part time at Color 10, and during that time, I'm also going to Missouri State mm -hmm. studying in journalism. Mm -hmm. Hope to continue my career in that. Yeah. Maybe do become a broadcaster. Uh huh. And then right now, I'm a senior and I have a semester left to graduate and during that time I've been in a serious relationship with my girlfriend Jamie Short uh -huh. and yesterday I made a big decision and and I'm engaged good on you well hey congratulations you. you know you always say that to the guy congratulations mm -hmm. yeah and then I I mean you you there it is. There's yep. the picture right there. Yep. I say congratulations to you. To her, I said, watch out. Look out. I oh, thank you, Tom. Stuff. You that didn't have to be so quick no, on I'm that trying as well. To be, no, I, I waited. I, there were a couple okay. of beats in there. So, I mean, you know, you, you just asked her. You are now engaged. Mm -hmm. Any kind of plans? I mean, have you set dates yet, or is it too uh, early? We haven't set any dates yet. Uh, during yesterday, when we got engaged, at the same time, we called, you know, every family member sure. that we could, let them know. And I think we got asked each time. So, have you guys set any dates yet? Oh, look, I was look, like, oh, well, you, we just got engaged. Nice yep. ring. Thank you. I did to try to do my best. She liked it, so that's all that matters, that's right? right? Absolutely. <laughs> Abs absolutely. So, you both go to school together? Uh, she's actually graduated. She works at the Ozark School District as a secretary. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, very good. So, you know it's coming. You haven't set the exact date. Yep. You know, but you, do you think once you all, you know, finalize, get married, are you going to stay in this area, or is that... I mean, I would hope to. Uh, it always matters where I can get a job and where the money goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I hope to stay in this area. I grew up around Licky, Missouri, so I kind of known this area for all my life, and I would like to stay around here for a little bit longer, at least. Sweet. Again, congratulations yeah. Thank you, to you. Much happiness. Much happiness to the bride, too. All That's right? Good. Very good. All okay. right. We have a great show for you this afternoon. First of all, because uh, you know we've just figured out some nice mm -hmm. stuff. We got a couple of cars outside. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You'll see it, and a big live music update from Mike the intern. But before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. All right, with Prime Minister Theresa May resigning and all the chaos over Brexit, mm -hmm. you know, some may be concerned for the well-being of Britain. Well, fear no more. There is a legend that foretells the fall of the kingdom and London. the Tower of London, which is home to the crown jewels, if the six ravens living there should ever leave. Well, hear ye, hear oh, wow. ye. The doom has been averted as four baby raven chicks have been born at wow. the fortress. Yeah, it's believed that since the reign of King Charles II in the 17th century, a small group of birds have been kept there to prevent the catastrophe from happening. Now, the current group of ravens has been joined by four oh, newcomers, which is, according to the tower's raven master. Oh, a raven master. Yeah. A first in over 30 years. Only one of the new chicks will be kept at the tower, and it will be named George because the birds were born on St. George's Day. Oh, the that's patron very saint. Yeah, England's patron saint, you know, St. George mm, and the Dragon. Right. Now, what do we learn from this? That there's actually a job called a Raven Master. I know. That's what I was just thinking. I want to know how you apply for that. 
I don't know, and I want to know what your qualifications are. Right. Likes yeah. birds. Likes birds. Uh, you have to have uh, 10 years of experience with ravens, you know. And you get to wear cool costumes, too. Oh, yes, of course. That's the most important part. Yeah, I mean, if you can't be one of the bee feeders, you can be one of the raven masters. Exactly. Raven master is a pretty cool title. I would love to have. I mean, you have your uh, your license, Raven Master. I mean, you know, people come and ask you, "What's your job?" Oh, I'm a Raven Master. You know, pretty casual. No, not a way. The, the Raven, Raven Master. Master. I think there's a movie in there somewhere. Well, if you're having problems with this, with things like love, finances, health, or even your political opponents, <laughs> have no fear. Help may be as near as your phone or Facebook. Sweet. Witches are making a comeback. The internet has allowed Romania's witch community to bring their ancient practices to the web with an estimated 4,000 witches luring customers from Europe, Asia, and the United States. It's all due to the younger generation showing the power of the selfie to the older generation. Mm. Nothing has changed in the ancient craft outside of the ability to reach a much larger group of people. The witches say it's not the phone that does the magic, it's the words. And it's enough to be able to look a person in the eye you don't have to be there. As the cost, a simple tarot reading runs about $55. $55, wow. But some <laughs> rituals take weeks and can run up the bill quite a bit. And if, you, and if you think this is all about selfish desires for love, wealth, the witches just have recently gone global and turned their eye toward corruption and politics. Wow. Okay. So witches of justice, you know. I guess so. That's what I'm going with. That, and they're all out of Romania, huh? Yeah. Mm. And they're learning, sounds like, people from everywhere. Asia, Europe, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. We got Raven Masters, we got witches. This all should have been on yeah, Halloween, right? shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Okay, I'll try to switch gears just a little okay. bit. Okay. Now, I think Switzerland is about to lose its historical position as a neutral nation, at least in one respect. It's announced plans to abolish the nation's emergency stockpile of, wait for it, coffee. Yeah. The world's most peaceful nation has gone rogue, declaring coffee beans are not vital for human survival. The system of emergency reserves has been in place since between the First and Second World Wars as Switzerland prepared for any potential shortages in case of war, natural disaster, or epidemic. Yet all stems from the Federal Office for National Economic Supply concluding coffee has almost no calories and subsequently does not contribute from the physiological perspective to safeguarding nutrition. There is hope, however, for the Swiss. A final decision is not expected until November. Now, if you don't think this is a big deal, consider this. The average per person consumption of coffee in Switzerland is double that of the United wow. States. Yeah. And remember, they handle all of your Swiss bank accounts and Swiss Miss Coco. I'm thinking cooler and more caffeinated heads will prevail. Yeah. Good luck with getting rid of that coffee. I'd be very surprised. They, and they've stockpiled other things, too, mm -hmm. you know, but the coffee is the one they're saying it has no value for human survival. There is, if there's somebody sitting across the table for mm -hmm. you, you might want your coffee before dealing I with it. I don't know. I think uh, coffee is very necessary for human survival, probably up there in the top ten. If it wasn't necessary for human survival, we wouldn't be drinking it as much. Exactly. It's a great point right there. All right. Well, Thanks, again, Tom. good job. Thanks for step, stepping in for a little while I'm here. Glad All right, to help. and we've got lots more to come this afternoon. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started. Like a pro. Good job.